No, I know a lot of people don't realize this, so you know you probably want to listen up. But alcoholism doesn't just happen by itself. It doesn't just come out of the sky and just drop on us. There's something that is innate in all of us that makes us susceptible to alcoholism. It's not a moral issue. It's not a character issue. It's actually a disease that can affect each and every one of us if given the right situation. Now, it can affect people in different degrees and to different levels. Um, but understanding that it just doesn't fall from the sky. And there is a set of criteria that can turn someone a perfectly normal, uh, empathetic, loving human being into a narcissistic, insane person, you know, 15, 20 years down the road. And it's a very unfortunate disease. So today we're going to go over some of the causes of why people become alcoholic or they have an unnatural uh, relationship with alcohol, uh, alcohol use disorder. And really the, the most common trait is when someone grows up in a cultural environment where uh, drinking alcohol is commonplace. They drink, maybe the family drinks wine with dinner. Uh, the father comes home at night and drinks six, 10 beers. Uh, the mother, maybe she drinks, you know, a bottle or two of wine uh, a night, you know, and the, the kids see that. And you have to realize kids don't do what we say. You can tell them not to drink and not to do this, but they're essentially gonna mimic what you're doing. Uh, the other factor that goes along with that is there is there are two genes that give people a predisposition to becoming an alcoholic. Doesn't mean you're going to become one, but if you mix it with uh, family culture, uh, it's a toxic combination. And that would be the hereditary genes known as ADH1B and ALDH2. Out of the 20 to 25,000 genes that make us up, these two genes specifically give us, give a person a predisposition to becoming an alcoholic. And the other most common way people begin is just by peer pressure. And the average person starts between the ages of 13 20, and 20. That's when they start their alcoholic career. Um, you know, just, it's, you're almost weird if you don't drink in social events. And a lot of kids are still developing their personalities. Uh, a lot of kids are socially awkward. Uh, they're just, you know, they're not there. They're still kids. When you're 17, 18 years old, you haven't developed completely yet. So you have this peer pressure. You're going to do what your friends are going to do. Uh, and that's how it starts. The only problem is, is when you've created a habit. Uh, you know, you're 20, 21, 22 years old, and you've been drinking for four or five years. Uh, and you've, you know, you're in, you're, you get caught in this web of uh, the habitual drinker. And that can turn into you know, chemical dependency, emotional, physical dependency. Uh, and this is where it starts. And it's, uh, it's a sad event. And again, these are the most common reasons why, uh, you know, people get caught in that web of addiction and, uh, and habit. You know, you, you, you're doing something over and over again. Uh, you're going to create a habit that can, you know, turn into a chemical, physical, and emotional dependency. And again, if any of these resonate with you, click on the link above, schedule a breakthrough call, uh, you know, I've helped thousands of alcoholics. You know, I've certainly you know helped their families, which is just important. And if you do set up a call, please uh, you know be there on time, and uh, you know don't miss it. <laughs> and again, uh, please like, share, and comment. We also have a Facebook group called Amanda: A Cautionary Tale of Alcoholism. Uh, it's growing by leaps and bounds every day. We talk about you know alcoholic issues uh, and support and all of that. And again, thanks for listening.